By 207 AD, the Roman Empire was in a state of turmoil. Several states had already broken away and had even formed empires of their own. One of the largest was the Palmyrenian Empire in the east. With Rome busy elsewhere, the Palmyrenians had to fend for themselves against eastern raiders. They were successful in their endeavours and so began to expand their influence outwards. Within no time at all, their queen, Zenobia, ruled over a vast sway of land from Syria, Palestine and parts of Asia Minor. In a series of blitzkrieg manoeuvres, the Palmyrenian forces captured Egypt, the grain basket of the Roman Empire. Once there, Zenobia redirected grain reserves towards her own empire, starving Rome in the process. Needing to feed his people, the new emperor, Aurelian, turned his attention to recovering the lost eastern portion of the empire. What's interesting is that during this time, Aurelian had actually been recognised as emperor over the entire region, while Zenobia's son had the title of Rex and Imperator, literally king and supreme military commander. Aurelian however decided that the rogue state had to be brought back under his control, so he marched out to recapture the region once his army was strong enough. Although famed for his brutality, Aurelian was surprisingly restrained during this campaign. Indeed, when he reached one city, he was visited in a dream by the first century philosopher Apollonius, who was a personal favourite of the emperor. Apollonius told Aurelian, if you desire to rule, abstain from the blood of the innocent. Aurelian, if you will conquer, be merciful. Aurelian spared the city, which had a knock-on effect of the rest of the cities along the way, also surrendering without a fight. Within no time at all, Aurelian and his army were outside the very gates of Palmyra. Although initially willing to weather a siege against the Romans, the Palmyrenians changed their mind once it became known to them that their queen and her son had made a break for it in the middle of the night. The city surrendered, with the queen and her son being captured soon after. After her capture, Zenobia and her son were made to walk on the streets of Rome in triumph. Having restored the grain shipment from Egypt, Aurelian was hailed as a hero by his people, eventually becoming known as the Restorer of the East. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.